Let me conclude with what this gentleman here says. This is Mr. Passer, a Minister for Economic Development. Can you read it for me? Uh, in spite of this call, <laughs> despite the fiscal austerity of the current environment, the new government is focused on global networks and internationalization. But this is a triumph. I've been waiting for 20 years for a minister of my government would say, Eh, Pico, non è bello. Get into international network production. Get internationalized. Grow. Global networks are a strong instrument to restore Italian competitiveness and growth. Italian competitiveness, sure. That's a big problem. That's a big problem. Good, good, good. The man is good. The man is good. <laughs> Every economic indicator tells us that global markets are the horizon towards stagnation. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. We are in a place where finally somebody seems to believe what we believe. That's, that's very encouraging. We need to give Italian firms the opportunity to grow. You know I've told you these things well before Mr. Passera stopped being a banker become a minister, right? I'm not saying that I'm more intelligent. What I'm saying is that I'm not aligning my positions to that of to those of the government. What I'm saying is that the government is coming to its senses in this country. To grow in new markets. The new markets. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So let me conclude this here. Uh, even though I've taken a bit longer than I expected, and I apologize if I've been boring, which of course I've not been. Uh, what is the story? The story is, the world is not the way you see it. The world is the way you model it. You see the spreads? <coughs> so what? Are they good or are they bad? I don't know. When the Germans need to reunify and they need a lot of capital to finance, it is a good thing. Sure. And everybody was complaining, oh, the Germans, they're paying such a interest rates and they're making life difficult for everybody over Europe. Yeah, yeah. But spread, now the spread is a bad thing. It was bad for somebody back then, it is bad for somebody else right now. Uh, right now. Don't believe in what you see. Believe in what you believe. Model the economy. Reject any interpretation that is shared by more than two people. Bring up your original thought. Work on that. Remember I told you when I bought Norwegian treasury. <laughs> <laughs> And my private banker. Norwegian treasure when you bond or what? You remember the reason. <coughs> they have oil, they are not in the Euro area, they have the best managed and big uh, wealth fund, state wealth fund. They have no deficit or debt, and they have no Italian immigration. <laughs> <laughs> so, they must be doing well. <laughs> Man couldn't believe me. The original. Don't believe it. Anything they tell you, don't believe it. Build your own form. Build your own interpretation. Okay? We've done that today. Europe has a problem. It is called the lack of a unique fiscal authority. We are working on it. I'm sure we make it. Sometimes journalists ask, 
Professor, what do you think? Will the euro disappear? What is it? Snow White? The euro disappear? It's the end of the world if the euro disappears. It is the beginning of starvation. What do you think? We are mad? We make the euro disappear? What are people going to eat? Who's going to pay what? With what? Who's going to buy with what? Who's going to purchase our things? That is unreasonable. We have to work to build this euro or China and the United States together will screw us over. Don't you agree? Gracias.